Check one, check, check. You know what is the worst though? Okay, talking about relationships. Fuck me. Okay, so you're in a grocery store, right? And a lot of men do this because a lot of men do this. You're in a grocery store and you're with you're with said other person, right? Mm -hmm. And it's always the wife that does this because women don't fart. And when they do, it smells like lilacs, not. So you're in a grocery store and the wife decides she's going to do a little crop dusting. Doesn't matter if you're the only person in the aisle or if there's a hundred people in the aisle. Crop dust, walk away. The smell is unbelievable. <laughs> and, and I look... I look at my wife and I go, like, <laughs> did you just fucking do that? And she just slips away. And guess what? Every person in that aisle is looking at the man. Of course. Looking at the man. Because there's no way a smell like that can come from a woman. Exactly. Because beer and pizza and all the that, shit that you and, eat. And, and, and she's... Gone. <laughs> she's around the corner laughing her fucking ass off <laughs> like literally that's actually a really good trick it's not a good trick that happened to me in a bookstore in a university <clears throat> in a university as an adult right you know I'm a little bit older or whatever but all these 20 year old somethings just fresh out of high school going to university and and my wife at the time was go, was going back to school going back she's going to university right so we're in the bookstore getting books, and and we're in the corner of the li the the bookstore, and it's kind of go down some steps. And boom, there you go, and there's all these twenty year old hard bodies in there, right? Fuck. Well, you think hard bodies don't fart? Like twenty? Like is there an age limit to farting? Okay, no, like but, no, no, farts. but but I'm older. Don't forget okay. the fact that I'm older. So, okay. so she she crop dusts, right? And. Uh, Walks away. All these 20-year-old hard bodies are looking at the old man <laughs> because it's a dust, it's it's a crop duster that that it, it it even smelled old. Like it smelled like it had some age to it. Guess what? And yeah. it did ha did it have really good hang time? Oh, guilty by association. Okay. Big time, big time, big time. Yeah, not good. Wild. Wild. You know what? I think we need to get a dog. Remember you said you wanted to get a dog? I think we should get one. For think, you. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, so the, the story, as the story goes, um, dogs get blamed for the farts all the yeah. time. And dogs got some bad farts. But yeah, you can do. tell a dog fart from a human fart. No. Yeah, you can no, no. because they eat dog food. I used to blame our dog on farts all the time. Because it was you. Mm -hmm. Right? What? Yeah. Because it was you dropping them probably. Well, yeah. Okay, well, dogs have a certain smell to their farts, and they can be bad, but if they're on kibbles, it's a kibble smell. It's a, it's, if mm. they're on people food, you're, you're on your own, right? Mm. It's like baby shit, right? Babies, when, when after they, if they're breastfeeding, um, their farts, the gas, and, and the shit smells different than when they're on people food. You know when they go on people food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's a whole new dynamic, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. 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 I'll give you that. It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But but it, it's interesting, you know, in in a re, in the relationship thing side of things, it's like you. <laughs> so you get a new your girlfriend phones you up and says, "Hey, Gland, I I met a new guy." And blah, blah, oh, tell me about him, tell me about him, blah, 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 blah. Have you had a poop in front of him yet? Because <laughs> that's a thing, right? That is a thing. Hmm. Like, you go for dinner, you put all this food in you, guess what? It's got to come out. Not right away. No, not right no, away. No, but did you eat yesterday? Yeah, but... Yeah, well, that's got to come out, too. Two cups of coffee in the morning, good yeah, to go. Yeah, and the day before that, guess what? That's got to come out, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. So... It's not like you have an instant poop right after you eat supper. Oh, some people do. Well, I don't. Some people do. Yeah, I know some people that are like that. All right. Yeah, mm -hmm. like clockwork, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's, I, I just find, you know what? Farting is funny. and It actually is. Farting they're, they're, is hilarious. Yeah, and when people get uptight about it, it's like, come on. Mm -hmm. Like, really? Mm -hmm. 
blow the dust off, right? Like, <laughs> you just want to squeeze them. <laughs> yeah, you kind of do, right? And okay, so I know some bigger people. Um, when I say bigger, I mean larger. They're just mm-hmm. they're bigger framed. They're they might have a little bit of more belly fat on than most, or mm-hmm. they're just larger people, right? Mm-hmm. And they make shirts, and then <laughs> and uh, God, if you, if the guy if the guy I'm talking about sees this, he might might punch me. <laughs> But the shirt says, um, uh, "Big people make big farts." Hmm. So is that is that true? Do do larger people have more gas because they're larger? I didn't do research on this, so I can't answer well, that. I didn't either. Okay. How, okay. I would feel retarded if I did research on <laughs> farting. I really would. I'd be like, well, I know, haven't lived yet. You actually know a lot about farting. Yeah. And, you and so think do you, you. You think you haven't farted in front of me, but you have. Okay, so yeah, yeah. So to 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 your benefit, your no, benefit to, or my benefit. To your benefit, my hearing is not that the, great. Yes, yeah. Actually, okay. it is. To, it is to my benefit. I can hear that. Yeah, coming out of your ass. I can. Uh, really? Mm-hmm. So. Whew. Really? (laughs) Should have kept that one under the quilt. (laughs) Um, Okay, we've nailed this. No, don't go there. (laughs) G. Landa has a a hearing impediment. Can I call it that? You can call it whatever you want. And sometimes I let one fly and I'm like, ooh, right? And (laughs) how you doing, babe? She, She doesn't miss a beat. And it's like, oh, cool, this is working in my favor. <laughs> a little bit, right? Let them slip out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like the dog. It's like anybody, you've had dogs, I've had dogs, cats, whatever. It's like, but the dogs are the, the dogs are the funniest because when they're in trouble, what do they do? They stick their head under the edge of your bed and their ass is sticking out. But they, if they can't see you, you can't see them. Right. That's the mentality, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's like that with farty. So if you can't hear my fart, you think I can't hear yours. No, but you, <laughs> yeah. you, get, that, you get that look on your face. You let one slide and you look at me. <laughs> yeah. I might. I can hear them by your facial expressions. It's kind of brown. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, some, and some people are so disgusted by it, like I was saying earlier. They're just... They're appalled. You would you would think that that uh, I don't know. You would think something really bad happened. That's just being too uptight. I mean, is that what you, we all do it? And uptight people, I think, would be the gaseous people, right? Wouldn't they? Yeah, because they store it. They the, store the yeah. They store their anger. Mm-hmm. Anger. Yeah. What's an anger? Well, if they're uptight, probably anger is just too. Mm-hmm. No, I don't know. What about burping, like belching, right? I'm a bad belcher, I know. Yeah, I know, right? You mess up my hair all the time. <laughs> I'm a bad belcher and I'm I maintain I'm not a doctor. I'll be the first to admit that. I probably should be one, but You're kind of dressed like a doctor but today. Not really. You kind of look professional like you're going to um, lecture. But belching it's gas again, right? Mm-hmm. It's it's all about the gas. Mm-hmm. And and I'm a firm believer in if 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 you're burping not on purpose, but if you, because you're ga- you're gassy, right? <clears throat> we'll take that out. <laughs> I don't know how many more are queued up. In there. Uh, but if you're gassy and you and you belch, you say excuse me, obviously. Um, but sometimes you don't, and in a relationship, you just get, and then you become a pig with it, right? You just, you, Isn't it proper etiquette to leave the room to belch? Well, to belch. No, no. So my 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 point is this: if you do not belch it out, it will find a way out. And if it's not coming out your your esophagus, it's coming out your ass. It will. It has to get out eventually, Mm -hmm. because it's gas, right? It doesn't leak through your pores. Okay, that's interesting. So why does it smell when it comes out your ass, but it doesn't smell when it comes out of your mouth? It does smell when it comes out of your mouth. Mm. Not as, not as much. It, you can taste the, the meal you had. If you belch and you've eaten onions and garlic, guess what? You're going to taste that. Girls don't belch. But you know how the system works, right? It's coming out 
your stomach, which is right there. So it's, mm-hmm. not, it's not a long... It doesn't have to go through all your large and small intestines. Are, are we right? doing a science class right now? Yeah, well... You know, I, I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever emptied a septic tank? No. 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 That, that would be like coming out your ass. Okay. It's not good, hmm. right? Because the septic tank did come out of my ass. But you've gone camping. Yeah. You, you know what that yeah. smells like, right? I it's don't dump good. septic stuff. No. No, ever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's that like? Not doing it? Yeah, not doing it. It's the best. Girls don't yeah. do that, that it's kind like of stuff. A, it's like a one-way bank, right? You always make a deposit, but never make a withdrawal. Mm-hmm. How's yeah. that work? Yeah, banking mm. it. Banking it. Yeah, well, you know what? Inflation's a bitch, and shit's going up all the time. Right? <laughs> <laughs> all righty. What then. else do you have for this? Like, we, we've covered the dogs. We've covered the the uh, who the in laws, right? Everybody's got in laws, and you've always got an uncle that just farts and burps, and you can, there's no tame in it. Everybody has that guy in their family, don't they? And if you don't, guess what? You're probably the guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. No, I think you're wrong. Yeah. Who's the farter in your family? Is it Kenny or is it Karen? I think it's Auntie Karen. You, I think Auntie, Auntie Karen. Karen. Yeah. yeah. And if, you know, she's on a gluten free diet too. And if she has a little bit of gluten, it is so not good. Yeah. So Uncle Kenny makes sure yeah. when she orders dinners in a restaurant and he'll say to the waiter, make sure hers is gluten free. Yeah. I, I have a couple on my side. I've got. I've got uh, my brother, my one brother, man. Yeah, he's he's bad. Hmm. I don't know if that's a redneck thing or what. It could be a redneck thing. It's a home, but what he's eating. Probably needs more greens in his diet. Hmm. And then I've got a a brother-in-law. Yeah, we'll call him Uncle Uncle Kenny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> And my sister just throws her arms up and goes, I know, right? Class, class act here, right? <laughs> and, and does he say excuse me or he just lets them fly? Like he's comfortable in his surroundings and with the family? Yeah, it just, just, yeah it's my house. Just mm-hmm. there it is, right? Yeah. yeah. You don't like it? Leave. Kind of. I, mean, I wouldn't say he's rude about it. but So that's just confidence. It's just confident farting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I do, have a, I do have a quick story when it comes to pooping. Um, okay. We can talk about that, right? Or is that is that too much? <laughs> well, we'll see where this goes, and then I'll tell you if it's too much. No, I have story. I have a lot of stories about my own experiences with with uh, getting caught <laughs> in that regard. Um, where you, where you shit your pants, right? Uh-huh. I have never shit my pants. <laughs> yeah. Ever. I have never shit yeah. my pants. Um, I still, I still don't buy that. I'm sure if I talk to some of your family members, they might, they might, you know, have different no. vision of that. No. Um, yeah, I've been caught uh, as an adult. You know, not 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 too many years ago uh, on a golf course. So you can't blame good. you can't blame the breast milk then, like you were an adult. The breast milk. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had breast milk. To okay. be honest, I don't. I don't no, I don't think that was a thing back in the day. Okay. Was it? I don't think so. Hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, it happens when you... I think they call them sharding these days or something hmm. where you just go to pass some gas and and you go, uh-oh. And yeah, I think I, I, think I uh, pushed the envelope a little too much on that one. And so you throw stuff in the garbage and carry on. <laughs> but people that don't want to talk about it, right? That, that's crazy. Okay, you just talked about it. That's only one little story. I didn't even get colorful with it because, I mean, it's, it's got some humor to it for sure, right? I had to walk through a, a clubhouse <laughs> at a golf course. What color were your golf shorts? I, I would, my shorts were white. <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah. yeah, they were white. Uh, needless to say, I've never been back to that golf course. I would die. I've never been back there. I would die. Hmm. Yeah, not good. Wow. Well, thank you um, for sharing. Uh, the, other, the, the other story, and this didn't happen to me, <laughs> um, it happened to somebody that I know very, very close to me. Um, he was in a new relationship, and it's actually his wife now, <laughs> believe it or not. 
and uh, they went on a trip together, and she had they they bought some cherries and some <laughs> fruit on the side of the road, you know, and pounding the cherries back on this road trip, and she had to go to the bathroom, and she had to go number two mm-hmm. on the side of the highway because there was no. There were there was nowhere to to go. It was the middle of the night, and uh, oh. no, nothing was open, and no nothing nearby. And it, you know, when you gotta go, you gotta go. So they pulled over. She got out. She s- went by the side of the truck. This is a, a truck, and you know did her business there. And my brother <laughs> put the put the truck into reverse and backed up. To expose her to the highway. No. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, and they got married. <laughs> I would say no. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, thank you. Not marrying you. That was a good story. No. And I left a lot of a lot of pieces out of it because it was That is so it mean. It was a good story. That is so yeah. mean. But I'd be curious. I would be super curious to, to know um you know how how you're dealing with these things in your own relationships if you've had everybody's got a story i mean come on mm-hmm. Every, see you do have a story mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you have shit yourself no i have never pooped my pants okay let's never. take let's take a poll how many think that she has and how many think that she has seriously yeah, leave a comment below that'd be interesting read don't you think no all right, I think we've nailed this topic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think we have. And we're getting a dog. Okay. Okay. What kind of dog? A little shih tzu? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm here all week. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right, for Let's Talk About That, I am Seckert and enjoyed this one very much, so thank you. And this is... G. Linda, make sure to live your best life. And remember, somebody always needs a ride, even when you're trying to do your business by the side of the road. (laughs) Over and out. See you later.